Good morning. I'm at the Bolick farm. Owned by David and Roberta Bolick. Off the little village of Dreersville, Pennsylvania. Some may know Dreersville at the bottom of Hawk Mountain Sanctuary. So David and Roberta have a farm here that's been within the family for many years. And today, I'm here because of a barn sale. What is Dave? He owns the place. How's it going, Dave? It's a wonderful day. How you doing, John? Tell me a little bit about your place. What do you got here? This is an amazing 13-acre small farm that belongs to my family. We're the fourth generation where Burr and I to own this place. It belonged to a great-grandfather, a grandmother, and an, and an uncle, and then my father, and then me. So together it comes out to four generations. Uh-huh. And you have a whole barn full of stuff you're getting Barns rid of. Barn filled with antiques and everything you could possibly imagine. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. Looks good around here. Pond back here, two streams on the property, John. And your parents own the uh, Dreersville Hotel Mom for a and while. Dad, Cliff and Inga, they own the Dreersville uh, Craft House, the, the store, the general store. That was they bought that back in the seventies and back they in the turned 70s, into yeah. all crafts. Uh huh. Red and Gill used to come there. Dad had a whole tribe of Indians there already. Uh, antique cars. People came from all over the place, New Jersey, New York, to go to Hawk Mountain and they come down and enjoy the little village. A little tiny village, like I think there's six or seven homes in that whole village. Yeah. Yeah. Well thanks a lot. You're welcome, Thank John. Thanks. Thank you. Hello, this is Roberta. Hi. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Roberta is the co-owner here at the Bolick Farms with David, and we are at the chicken house, and she's going to tell us about the chickens that they're going to grow, uh, raise this year for eggs. So let's let's take a walk in here and see. Okay. You, you can tell us. Go All ahead. Right. You can tell us about what's happening here. All right. probably over a hundred chicken coops. We're not going to have that many. We're going to start out with six, but this is like fourth generation owning of this property. And his great uncle, Charlie, uh, must have had over a hundred chickens because there's an awful lot of coops. Um, he also had cows and, uh, I think he had horses in here too. Anyway, we are going to. Uh, so you're going to have how many chickens? Just six to start Six out. chickens to start. Yeah. And, and they're going to be living in here. In here. We're going to, we're, tomorrow we're going to start working on this. This is all going to come open. These are going to come off. We're going to make a house for them so that they can be within here. And then over here, this window, we're going to build a ramp and, uh, let them go outside but we're going to use chicken wire so be with the hawks in the area we can't okay, have yeah. them running we want them to run free but uh and close it in with the chicken wire great yeah so then they can come back in and out whenever they want to and A free range chicken yeah oh, that's great this will yeah. all get closed in because we don't want them running over there and then we'll have a we might bring it out to here and there'll be a door so we can get in and uh, access the chickens. And mm -hmm. I named my chickens going to be named Elda, which is <laughs> David's grandmother's name. I think that is a really neat old-fashioned name. I've never heard of it, kind of like Vania. <laughs> yeah, so, how about that? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're excited. And tomorrow we're going to get busy. Great, great. That's good. And yeah. Then, and, of course... The summer's coming up, and you have a lot of uh, vegetable garden. You have a flower garden coming yep. up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this year we're going to do a little bit different. Last year we had the also did pumpkins, and they kind of yeah. took over an area. So we're going to make another big area just for the pumpkins because we have the kids down in the fall for a pumpkin patch. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for telling us about that. Thank you. Have a good <laughs> summer. <laughs> Do you deal with her ever? Yeah. She's an awesome. So here is the barn. <laughs> There's no doubt. She's definitely. Let's gone. take a walk in and see what's happening. I took so much out of that place, ma'am. You can't believe it. There used to be a bar in there. Yes. You know, and I, I mean, I got some really cool stuff out of there. And then her mother had that shop. I mean, yeah. What I took out of that place, you can't believe. I, I've been buying out of here for I, three I years. Think, I think that. The barn. Um, I was at Most of the material and all has been in there for long decades. Yeah, long time. Decades yeah. because my one friend put it out. She wants to do something. I said, well, don't buy the material. Come for it. I said, you don't know if it's dry. <laughs> it's old. You'll be able to go like this on the side. It's going to fall right apart. Right you know? Know.
Good morning, Sean. Hello. Why, I think this is going to be your first full summer coming up here at the farm, isn't it? Yes, it is. What are, you, what are your plans for this summer here, after your schoolwork is all done and you have the whole summer here? Uh, help. Help, help yeah. Yeah, you're going to be helping doing, making, get the flowers and help with the chickens and yes, cutting the grass. and chickens at the end of the month. Gardening, yeah. A good bit to help with mm -hmm. and help with my uncle. So yeah, that there is, you go. That is going to be good. Uh, I don't know, just relax. It is my first summer down here, so. Right, you're going to find out what it's really like. Although you know what it's like. You've been down here on many, many weekends, haven't you? Yeah, I've been coming down here since I was little. Well, not here, but with my aunt and uncle since I was little. But I did come down here for a couple years now. Yeah. For a couple years now. Uh, yeah, he was so you pretty well. It's you nice pretty well know what's going on down here at the farm. Yeah, yeah. not hard. Yeah. You see over there, there's a lot of bush over there. That's a bit. That's something we need to get rid of. We're getting rid of. I took down a big tree over there. It's not fully removed, but that'll be another project for this summer. Mm -hmm. There is a whole big list that we need to do this summer, which we'll get to eventually. We'll get to. Yeah, your uncle Dave will keep you busy, won't he? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that, that'll be. <laughs> and your Aunt Bert, yeah. They'll keep you busy, I'm sure. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, you'll be gone. Yep. There's a flower bed right behind you. There's a lot. It's going to need a lot of work. Yeah, it's yeah. going to need a lot of work. Yep. Which we'll get to eventually. And you cut the grass, don't you? Yeah, I, he, usually, he cuts the grass. It's the only thing he really like, he likes to do because of his knees, but I will weed back. Right. Well, you're a little bit older now. He might get you out there a little bit with that. Yeah, now. maybe. He, yeah. Likes, he likes the zero turn. It's his, where you don't turn much. You could just turn right away instead of having to make the big swoop. Right. Make a big swoop. So that'll be something for him to do this spring. He's going to be working with his son. I'm going to be working with him this summer. So it's going to be busy. Yeah. Busy, busy summer. Well, you have yourself a good summer. Yeah. And I'll come down maybe later on in June or July and and uh, do some more video you know, when, when all the flowers are blooming yeah, I think and the vegetable garden's that. doing good. That's yeah. a major thing we need to yeah. get done. Okay, you take it easy.